What's up everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to Box Mining Daily. Today we're going to start off with the market analysis and it seems like everyone's going to wait for the Bitcoin fork. We also have graphene, so it's a new way to pack blocks and we're going to take a closer look at that. And of course we have Argentina, one of the biggest futures market in Argentina might be adding Bitcoin onto its array. And of course, in terms of entertainment, we have Bjork's latest album, and it's going to give out some crypto. And of course, we have a South Korean TV show that pits people competing with each other using Bitcoin to survive. I like to say that topics covered here are my personal opinion and not financial advice. So let's start off with the market first of all. So it seems like not much has happened today. So Bitcoin dropped by 1.44%, but of course, there's a little bit more to that story. So earlier on today, Bitcoin actually did drop to almost um, 7,100 something level. So we have 7,175. So it had a little bit of a dip there, but it caught back up right now. It's at 7,318. So it does seem like Bitcoin is holding steady at this price. There were maybe talk about it dropping down, but it seems like it's still holding because people are still very, very interested in Bitcoin, especially with the hard fork coming up. We of course still have Korea and Japan, they're tied in terms of trade volume, number one and number two, bit flyer, bit thumb. So it just seems like we have what's kind of the status quo happening. So everyone does seem to be waiting around for the next price action to for the hard fork. We've seen chat on my channel about people potentially staying for the hard fork. Even if Bitcoin drops to 5,000, there might be the other coin, the 2x coin that might be worth quite a lot of money. So it might be the case that people just want to wait around for these two coins and they want to stick with Bitcoin, even though it is one of the most dangerous times because of this upcoming hard fork, this huge amount of uncertainty, but people want those two coins. So now we have other coins, for example, Ethereum. Ethereum has been holding steady throughout this whole week. It's pretty much not moved at all since yesterday, and Bitcoin Cash is increasing by a little bit. We do have Ethereum Classic. That's probably one of the top coins that are rising a lot today, NEM, both NEM and Ethereum classic actually so nem went up by nine percent and ethereum classic by 24 percent so that's quite a lot in the top 10 range in terms of other cryptocurrencies we don't see that much movement it's just mostly static and it's mostly because of this waiting around for what's going to happen next definitely bitcoin is at its civil war peak right now we have around nine days left until the hard fork that's going to happen so that's definitely a lot to read up for you guys i do have a video on the upcoming hard forks that with 2x but also you guys can check out what's happening on reddit and i do want to take you um guys and talk to you guys that there's two sides to reddit as well so there's r slash bitcoin and it's discussing pro core mostly no 2x on reddit slash bitcoin and then we have reddit slash btc which is more pro 2x so it's important to make that distinction to know that both exist and there's both discussions on both sides of course this is a very very heated and very political argument that is why there's so much misinformation being spread about the 2x fork on both sides. The thing is, both Bitcoin is going to split into two coins and both coins want to be called Bitcoin. Both coins want to claim to be Satoshi's vision. That's the hard part that's coming out. But what we do see, of course, in today's discussion is the discussion of graphene. So graphene is a new protocol for blockchain block propagation. It's written by Gavin Andreessen. So one of the authors there is Gavin Andreessen. And he's a very interesting character because he's one of the core developers, used to be the ex-core developer um, of Bitcoin, but he's since been kind of um, exiled from that community. And there's this talk that he's going to make this new protocol that can pack blocks more efficiently, putting almost eight times as much information in that block. So it's, it's going to be crazy. But the thing is, is core going to implement that? Is that going to go into Bitcoin? Is that going to get adopted? That's the new debate right now. But it does seem like this sort of new technology, new way of thinking is around and has been announced in this paper. So I'll link that paper down below as well. So that seems to be the most interesting thing coming out. Out. There is discussion on both sides, RBTC and our Bitcoin. Discussing about graphene, it seems to be the topic that is heating things up, and I think it's going to be interesting to follow that as well. But overall, right now, in terms of just 
price action, a lot of people are definitely waiting for Bitcoin to make a move uh, or at least wait until the hard fork. The thing is, when the hard fork happens, you're going to have two coins. And the thing is, anything that you do to Bitcoin or whatnot, it's not going to affect the other coin. So that's the most important thing. So when at the time of the fork, having Bitcoin in your own control is the most important factor. I am still going to make, I'm still on my way to make a video about how to make sure that you're ready for the upcoming hard fork. So do stay tuned into that and do remember to subscribe to my channel so you can get up to date with that. Next up, we have Argentina. So Argentina, one of their biggest futures markets, something called Rolfex, they're considering adding Bitcoin. So this is important because in Argentina as well, they're experiencing quite a lot of inflation there. So Bitcoin has become quite important in countries that experience inflation. We've seen that in Venezuela as well. Venezuela suddenly got a spike of interest in both Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining. Ethereum as well. The reason be is because the, their country is experiencing hyperinflation. Basically, I think it's almost like 300% inflation this year. And it's just insane. Just think about it. Your $1 is now worth 30 something cents and the price of bread or something is going to go up by three times or, or at least um, in terms of the uh, foreign imported goods anyways. So that's going to be the thing that's going to dictate the kind of interest in Bitcoin. We've seen Bitcoin prices go up surge after recent financial crises or kind of um, loss of faith in sort of a, um, a government run currency. So this is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is interesting. We do see new players coming in to crypto as well. So we did have someone from Venezuela in my live chat today. We also have around, um, I did a poll today about how many new players are in crypto um, on my channel. So that was around 11% new players that just joined this week. So it does seem like a lot of people are coming in and this is definitely attracting a lot of interest. So just new blood coming in to crypto right now. Next up in terms of entertainment, so we have Bjork. Bjork wants to give out some cryptocurrencies and they want to have a checkout with Bitcoin and other, you got Dash, Audio coin and Litecoin here. So this is the um, order page for her new album. If you guys still buy albums, of course, I mean, a lot of, I, I personally listen to music on Spotify, but if you guys do buy albums, she's trying to accept Bitcoin, Audio coin, Litecoin, or Dash, and also PayPal and credit cards. So those are the less interesting cryptocurrencies there. But what's interesting is that she's also giving out some Audio coins with her album as well. So she's trying to introduce people into crypto. I do have to say, of course, that um, I personally stopped listening to uh, um, albums on just CDs anymore, but it's cool that she's doing this. We also have South Korea. So South Korea, I didn't, I didn't know this was happening, but apparently they have a new kind of TV show where celebrities try to survive using only Bitcoin. So they try to go around and survive in the city, go to places that only accept or, or that can accept Bitcoin and they can only spend Bitcoin. So this is kind of like this kind of entertainment that they're doing there. And I think there's just two things to conclude from this. One is that this Bitcoin crypto has enough interest in kind of the general public to um, support a kind of a very public show like this. This is not a very technical show. It's a it's a very fun, you know, just casual show about just celebrities surviving on crypto. So, you know, in terms of theme, it's very general public and it just goes to show the amount of people and interest in crypto. And of course, it also um, kind of promotes the crypto stores as well, the stores that accept Bitcoin. So I just found that quite interesting. And I think it is important that this goes into the general public. You know, that's that's important. That kind of reinforces Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency and reinforces that people can use it to spend in stores. Even though at this current point, I think it's still a little bit early for us to really spend crypto at least for Bitcoin anyways, because Bitcoin transfer fees are so high. So you can only really buy luxury items with it efficiently. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about over-the-counter trades in China because that's heating up after the Chinese government banned cryptocurrency exchanges. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about this whole entertainment industry thing. They seem to be picking up crypto and making new shows and working out new crypto things. So that's kind of interesting. Are you guys interested in that? Do you guys hope to see more? Comment below. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Remember to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of new videos. See you next time.